Next on the list, we have, uh, oh yeah, we have an episode, well, episode. we have the review from Vogue.com regarding Matthew Williams' debut show as Givenchy. I'm sure most of you that are into clothes are aware that Matthew Williams, uh, you know, founder and creative director of Elix, one of the more prominent bands, brands, prominent brands in fashion at the moment, um, a very... Um, what you call it modern interpretation is can you even say modern it's not a contemporary interpretation of helmet lang i'd say in that regard somebody who's kind of well known within the streetwear and menswear fashion scene he got his start doing costume design for lady gaga then kind of went on to do some work for kanye which then led him to have a friendship with virgil they had this really f amazing faux uh boy band thing called bintrill that you know it kind of really shook up things in the industry and kind of acted as a platform for each of them to go on and do amazing things you've got Harry preston doing his own brand you've got virgil doing off-white and now doing louis vuitton and now you've got matthew williams doing the leaks and now doing Givenchy. so essentially from just printing screen printed t-shirts and putting a new york logo upside down and all that sort of stuff and creating hashtags and djing really poorly at festivals they've now essentially turned their passions or their dreams into or they turn their lifestyle into a job which is kind of the quintessential slogan that i kind of abided by in the early years um that was sort of oriented by um andrew aaron bondaroff formerly of a new york thing and formerly of the bowery um gallery so they've basically lived the dream they're doing amazing things and um none more so than Matt williams who's the kind of the last to kind of get a bit of industry um love and industry recognition with his appointment at Givenchy, which kind of needed a bit of life breathed into it since you know um the heady days of ricardo tishi there they needed a bit of a contemporary modern um twist to it and of course to appeal to the youth out there and i guess for our first collection it's pretty good um this is a review of the show here from method and reveals a vision for Givenchy, very elegant powerful and chic um i'd say just in terms of optics and just looking at it as a show it's probably styled uh poorly it's not the best um there's a thing that happens i'm not too sure if this is a uh an, an 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 affect of um somebody with no formal training coming in to lead a you know a pretty story brand because uh, part of me naively would assume that an atelier would just fix stuff but i guess they're only kind of going by the instructions or leadership or whoever's kind of in charge and create directing but i've always i've noticed especially with virgil's collections the first one louis vuitton and this whenever somebody that's not classically trained in fashion steps in and works with a big house or works with an atelier works with a big luxury fashion brand regardless of the resources the clothes always just look a bit big they always look a bit clumpy or a little bit odd like shape wise they don't look like they fit well or they still look like they need what they look like they're like the first couple of runs of an of a of a fit or of a final piece it doesn't necessarily look at the final product i don't know there's something about it that just looks a bit off i'm not sure if it's me just looking into it too deeply but it never looks finished never looks as well and again this is not this isn't like um him just doing the brand out of his own studio somewhere in LA or something right or in somewhere in Paris right this is him obviously having the access to the best resources the industry has to offer and it still doesn't look finished it still doesn't look as chic as it could be so that's probably one thing I'd say the styling isn't the best I said at the moment maybe he hasn't necessarily got a creative partner that he sort of kind of can bounce off of but there are some elements in it that obviously are going to interest some people I love this white look I think it looks really cool but again it maybe doesn't necessarily divert that much from some of the stuff he's done at Elix but again the shoes are a great detail um maybe I think the suit might have been the same one that he wore in the interview he did with Vogue I'm not too sure but yeah the, the little class bag as well is a crazy little nice detail um, I like the upper on the boots actually how they sort of warp at the top here I quite like that little detail there that looks pretty cool and all overall I think it's a fairly decent debut as debuts go again I think if you're a you know an experienced person in fashion shows and the casting of course is pretty cool you got Lancy Fo there you know kind of go out there and download his album really really cool if you're a fan of Playboy Carter you'll be a fan of him as well um I guess if you're like again this look doesn't just this look doesn't look great I'm not really a fan of this tabby toe that everyone was going crazy over on the timeline I, I never want those I never want my toes like those kind of toes to be touching each other just feels a bit odd you know it reminds me of you know when you go to get a manicure or a pedicure is it and they stuff those little foam things in between your feet that's what it sort of looks like isn't it and it just doesn't look nice it looks a bit odd then you've got that horn, I guess, on the bottom there, or that hill that kind of is a bit of a nod to Alexander McQueen's um, era at Givenchy, but it doesn't look the best. Just even that colour of the tights, just not very, it's not very appealing. The leggings, the colour of the leggings don't look that appealing. 
um that pat that material on the skirt and the bag is just a little bit garish it's a little bit risque to be fair anyway because as the first questions go in terms of materials used color palettes it's a bit much in it just even this this it's a lot of material in it, unnecessary material put in front of that that probably could get probably could do with just being removed all in i don't know but that's just me i don't know what i'm talking about who am i to judge i've got a bloody you know uh discolored hoodie on but i think if you're if you're an experienced fashion head you'd probably say there are probably others who are probably could have done a better job but i think where fashion's heading now you know it makes sense that house actually when she would decide to get matthew williams involved because obviously he's got i don't know his finger on a pulse he is uh you know the cultural zeitgeist orbiter in some regard he does um sort of know how to make pieces of clothing which is what you basically see with these guys that kind of come in from the outside as opposed to creating an entire collection with a theme that kind of tied it together they're just enlisted to kind of not just it's not simple but they're still they're, they're mostly hired in order to increase sales right they include they're, they're mostly hired to increase sales whether it's with the item a particular look but it's about making clothes it's about making product and these guys are essentially product experts right whether it's the hardware whether it's the the accessories whether it's the shoes the outerwear some of the collaborations they know how to make items they know how to make ensure that they sell through and connect with whatever audience they're trying to appeal to so in that regard i'm sure these will do well you know some of the bags are really fairly interesting the coats are pretty cool but overall it's a little bit underwhelming for me just in terms of what i expect from a matthew williams i still think of the three virgil heron and matthew he probably the I'd, I'd say in my experience from my opinion he's still the more he's probably the most talented of the three he has a bit more of a especially his experience kind of doing costume design with lady gaga i mean that would definitely serve him well in that respect um, it's not traditional training in terms of going to a fashion school but it's still better than you know the other two that are in that lane but oddly enough you know heron preston starting to look like the one that might have the actual je ne sais quoi especially if he marries up with a really interesting brand i could definitely even though you know they hired the guy from Y project to do it i could definitely see heron preston being the creative director of diesel i think that'd work out really well there's a lot of um overlap in terms of what they do there but i still think there's a lot of room for him to grow and again as i think as a first debut collection working with an atelier and working on the new processes i still think it's a really really good show overall and i can't wait to see what else he does with it uh going forward again um i, I love lancey for i don't, just don't think he looks good in clothes sometimes i just think clothes kind of hang on him as opposed to kind of look like they you know they like look at the difference between this guy what he's wearing and obviously what lancey first wearing it's just a bit odd and again like i said stuff just looks a bit odd i don't know why it is whenever non-fashion people get him but it just looks a bit doesn't look like it fits the best but hey overall i'm still a fan of it this is probably my favorite lancey foe um fit um the hat with the horns on it referencing mcqueen it was funny to see some of the kids online some of the kids that make their own little snapback hats getting annoyed and frustrated that um, at, um matthew williams was kind of ripping off their idea when you know um this idea has been copied by so many different brands out there it's not even worth even mentioning but yeah that look is pretty cool i'm not sure if that's a belt or just an accessory over the top but it looks really really amazing the material in the trousers is pretty cool as well um lancey's um unmoisturized feet is not a good vibe but hey i love his guys music so i'm gonna allow him <laughs> um we continue here some pretty decent looks overall this is a pretty cool again you see the difference between how this looks on this model and lancey sometimes clothes on him look a bit odd but I, I did like him when he used to used to do um used to walk for a cold war he's definitely one of the standouts when you see him being cast but there are some good elements in it you know some really nice pieces some really nice colors um some really cool ideas once it gets fleshed out a bit more it'd be interesting to see how it goes on but um this is a uh, far more attention i think they've Givenchy has probably got more attention from this one show than they've got gotten since maybe ricardo tissue's heyday so in that respect i definitely think it's worked out in that regard um it's been interesting to see how it goes on like again there's just too much going on in this outfit isn't it? look at that it's just too much too much but i think once you strip stuff away and it kind of i'll be just to see once this gets styled in uh, editorials how you know actual stylist kind of um you know removed from the process of making his clothes sort of interpret what he's basically putting together i think a lot more people will be fans of it but again like i said for a debut show um i definitely think it's better than i expected so it'd be interesting to see and and probably the best time to evolve and to grow and to kind of find your voice in a brand away from all the attention with everyone locked in their homes and stuff right um but again it'd be interesting to see how he sort of adapts whether he decides to 
um, refine his league's voice via Givenchy or whether he decides to make a completely different uh, presentation because at the moment it still has a, a bit of there's a, still a bit of the aftertaste of Elix, uh running through some of these clothes so I wonder what happens there does he decide to kind of push away and kind of marry up or does he kind of take whatever he's learned at Leaks and sort of kind of present it through a more grown up let's say quote unquote vision with Jeevan Shee interesting interested to see going forward it'll be interesting to see but yeah some fairly decent ideas here that I'm a big fan of again the gold accessories um, the chains look really cool I like the proportion in the trousers the cuts in the trousers look interesting the shoes look really cool some of the back reveals look amazing this looks absolutely horrendous but again I'm sure there's an audience for something like this on the top um, a lot of these shoulders you saw this in Balmain as well this sort of exaggerated shoulder which I'm not really sure why this is becoming a thing I just don't necessarily think it looks great in this sort of way the way it's done here it just looks a bit odd um there's probably some little fine tuning there that needs to be done um again stuff like this is going to be an easy sell you know similar to the stuff that um Marine Cell is doing with a little half moon print shoots and stuff and the bag is going to be very popular you can see those great pieces of hardware here that I'm a big fan of which obviously Matthew Williams is sort of like well known for creating good pieces of hardware so let's see how this grows as it progresses throughout the seasons. Some interesting pieces, some good ideas, and again, a fairly decent debut from Matthew Williams. So let's wait and see.